A reading from the letter of Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, put on as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, heartfelt compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, bearing with one another and forgiving one another, if one has a grievance against another. As the Lord has forgiven you, so must you also do. And over all these, put on love. That is the bond of perfection. And let the peace of Christ control your hearts, the peace into which you were also called in one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, as in all wisdom you teach and admonish one another, singing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through Him. Wives, be subordinate to your husbands, as is proper in the Lord. Husbands, Love your wives, and avoid any bitterness toward them. Children, obey your parents in everything, for this is pleasing to the Lord. Fathers, do not provoke your children, so they may not become discouraged. The Word of the Lord. Our second reading today the Feast of the Holy Family is taken from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. We have been reflecting on a particular type of submission, not the slavish type, but the submission of someone who loves and who believes. In the first reading from the book of Sirach, we are told that parents are given by God a place of honor and authority. And so children honor their parents. That's the type of submission, honoring them. And even when their strength, when their intellect already fail, then it is not a loss of dignity for them. In fact, their honor increases. And so we submit to them. How? By serving them, by being considerate to them, by loving them. Isn't that a beautiful way of thinking of submission? St. Paul, in the second reading, summarizes everything. And this is important for this year of mercy. First, the type of submission that we call forgiveness. Not submitting to my anger, not submitting to my hurt, and saying, yes, hurt, I will obey you. <laughs> yes, pain, I will obey you. Yes, anger, I submit to you. Drive me more to hatred. No. Forgiveness is submitting myself to patience, to understanding. Who can forgive? The one who understands that the other person is as weak as I am. When I submit to the call of forgiveness, I am not being weak. I am, in fact, being strong, strong in my faith that this person who has hurt me is loved by God, that he or she remains a sister, a brother. It's a matter of faith. And so I keep on hoping that there is something good in this person. So I stretch my understanding, and then I submit by saying, I forgive. Then St. Paul says, on top of all this, patience, gentleness, forgiveness, put on love. Yes. You, dear parents, I'm sure your children must have hurt you at one moment or the other. But what makes you submit in the sense of forgive them? Give them another chance. It's your love. It's your love for them that enables you to say, Okay, I give up my anger and I give you another chance. Husbands and wives, well, that's life. 
There are moments of irritation. There are moments of impatience. But then you decide, yeah, we will start all over again. Why? What type of submission is this? It is the submission of those who know how to love. Then there is peace. Then there is a lease <laughs> on new life. No one gives up on another. We just say, I believe, I love, there is a chance for all of us. Thank you.